return on equity. That's the return to the owners. That equals net income divided by equity. That's total stockholder equity. What is net income? Well, it's either dividends paid out to the equity owners or it's retained as earnings to plow back into the business. Hey, if we take anything and multiply it by one times one, guess what? It's still that same thing. Well, what if you're an analyst and you're smart? You choose the type of number one you want, sales over sales and assets over assets. It still equals net income over equity, which of course is return on equity. Well, of course, multiplication can be done in any order in the numerator and denominator. So guess what? We're going to choose just like the DuPont analysts originally did. Net income times sales times assets in the numerator and sales times assets times equity in the denominator. And guess what? Those famous analysts over at DuPont, they said return on equity. Well, you break it apart to see what's really going on. Hey, there's the profit margin for every $1 of sales. How much net income do we have? That's concerning revenues and cost management, asset utilization. That means for every $1 of assets, what sales are generated. Of course, the more sales, the better. And then the equity multiplier for every $1 of equity. How many assets do we have working for us? Those three components help you really understand return on equity.